Hey guys, Chubby Hood. I have the new SIG X P365 Macro. And um, since I have this gun in the shop, um, I just wanted to kind of show it to you guys. I know there's gonna be a lot of reviews on YouTube. I haven't really watched any yet, but since this gun is brand new, I have a, several other 365 series guns. I was gonna show you guys the difference between them and kind of see like what parts are compatible. And I thought that was interesting. So let's go over to the bench. I'm going to lay them all out and I'm going to show you some of the differences. Okay guys, right now I have all of the four main 365 series stuff. Um, if I'm missing one, you can point me out, but I think I got the main sizes here. Um, down here at the smallest, I have the P365, which has the shortened slide, shortened barrel, and the shortened grip. Then I have the P365X, which is same size slide and barrel, but has a little bit longer grip frame like the XL. And then next to last here, I have the XO, which has the longer slide, longer barrel, and longer frame. So these hold 12 rounds out of the box, and these hold 10 unless you get the longer mags. And then we have the new uh, P365X Macro, which is um, kind of a hybrid. Holds 17 rounds in the magazine. It has a ported slide, recessed barrel, and it's optics cut, and it has night sights out of the box. So pretty, pretty feature packed. Has a full size Picatinny rail attachment, which is cool. So if you want to run a full size light, you can. I'm going to compare it here to the XL. So if we compare size wise, you can see it is just a hair thicker if it shows up on camera, not much. If we lay the XL on top of it, you can see it's not much bigger. It is a little bit bigger, but not much. The slides are actually interchangeable, believe it or not. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. We can actually take this XL slide off, put it on the macro and vice versa. You cannot put the shorter um, barrel slides from the 365 over there because they're too short. At least I don't believe you can. I also tried to put the barrel from the XL in the macro. It won't fit, even though you would think it would line up here. It doesn't, hits on something on the inside of the slide. Of course, I wasn't going to force it or anything, but I tried to see if it'll fit and it won't. So now let's uh, mix and match, see what we can do, show you guys some of the cool, uh, different cool stuff. To start off, one thing that's neat, these 17 round mags, interchangeable with all your old guns. So if you're carrying an XL now, you could totally carry a 17 round mag in it, or you could carry it as a backup mag if you wanted to. It will also work and the smaller guns. So if you wanted that as your one backup mag, a lot of guys will carry one extra mag. You can have a 17 rounder now, which is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna pop the slides off these and show you guys how they interchange. Now, this is a regular P365XL slide and barrel assembly. fits on the macro here. Check that out. Fits. Everything works like it should. Everything resets. Really cool. So why would why would this be important to you? If you own a really nice 365 or let's say you have a custom slide, like a really expensive custom slide, you could buy the macro. I know you're buying the frame, but if you, or you might just want both guns, but you could have 17 round capacity now in your XL. And I'm telling you, this is a lot smaller than a Glock 19. It's slimmer, it's lighter, and it's, I don't know, I just, I like it guys, I really do. But I thought this was cool. And then let's see if the macro slide and barrel fits on a regular gun, and it does. So, that's really cool that you can do that. And it will work. Take it apart. I'm gonna put the parts back where they go. And then I'm just gonna take the barrel and slide out here. See, or sorry, the recoil spring and the barrel out. Of the macro, so you guys can see it. Try to get it in focus. 
you can see it's ported. And then the barrel only goes to the edge of the ports. So put it back together, you just drop it in. I think it's pretty neat. I like it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, at least I just gave you guys kind of a quick look at the X Macro, the XL, the X, and the regular 365. Pretty cool that they're all modular. I think the uh, Macro is going to be the next super popular carry gun. I could be wrong and everybody just thinks it's a full size gun, but I'm telling you, it's uh, it's smaller than a compact. It's bigger than these subcompacts, but it's, it's small and it holds a lot of ammo. So I think it's gonna be really popular. Well, right after I got done showing you guys the uh, new macro, the owner asked me if I would like to shoot one. So I actually got to take this gun out and put a few rounds down through it. A um, couple mags. Um, what you're seeing right here is me shooting at like, I think it's 20 or 25 feet. And wow. if you watch my hands when I'm shooting it, you can see this gun is not moving much at all. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble with my eyes that day focusing on the sights, but the gun shot flat. You can watch it right here. I got a good grip on it. I have the camera flipped around backwards. I'm right-handed, but you can see the gun's just not moving. Um, I would compare it to something like like a compact recoil, like a Glock 19 or something. Um, I think it's softer. Or less. Like I said, the gun barely moved. But I want to show you guys some footage of this thing being shot. You can see it doesn't move much. And um, I'm pretty, pretty excited about this gun. It's a nice little gun.